Hey everyone, Farmington Mayor Nate Duckett here. Thanks for joining us today for an updated Mayor's Table. It is June, it's Outdoor Recreation Month, and my guest today is Parks and Recreation Cultural Affairs Director, Shauna Reeves. Everyone, Farmington Mayor Nate Duckett here. Thank you for joining us for the Mayor's Table today. We're out here at Anasazi Trail off of Hood Mesa, and my guest is uh, Shauna Reeves, Farmington's Park Recreation and Cultural Affairs Director. Shauna, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Mayor. This is the best filming location. It is the best filming location. Well, it's a beautiful, sunny day in the high desert, which is part of the reason why I love to live here. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've chosen Anasazi, kind of An Anasazi Park, mm -hmm. as we're going to call this. Uh, which is a mountain bike and a hiking trail. But we chose this area as kind of highlight some of the work that's being done with the city of Farmington and its outdoor recreation assets and also the Bureau of Land Management mm -hmm. and things that they're doing here. So we've chosen this park for that reason, but it's, it's June, it's outdoor recreation month. We of course are Farmington, a place where <laughs> outdoor lovers and active families thrive. thrive. So we wanted to make sure we, we kind of got back into the routine now that we're kind of moving back into the regular world uh, for the time being anyway, kind of the post, well, mm -hmm. we're still in the COVID-19 world, yeah. which is why we're distanced right here, by the way. That's right. Uh, kind of keeping those things going. So, Shauna, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but Doug McKim with the BLM, he's our outdoor recreation uh, kind of manager. They're putting in four and a half miles of new trail here in the Anasazi Park area. Wow. Uh, and they're also going to be updating like another five miles of trail, of mountain bike trail, mm -hmm. um, elsewhere in the kind of the Kinsey Trail system uh, as a part of the Glade Run Recreation Plan. So we mm -hmm. think it's really important that people know, specifically with Anasazi uh, Park, with the hiking trail that's here, the mountain bike trail that's here, they've actually gone through and done a post and cable mm -hmm. uh, fence all the way around this park to limit its access only to non-motorized Right. Uh, pedestrian and, and bikes. Mm -hmm. So I know that our group has been working with uh, the Bureau of Land Management on that. There's a trailhead that comes out of Sandalwood Park. That's correct. And if you haven't been to Sandalwood Park um, up here in the Foothills area, as you, uh, it's kind of in the middle of the parking lot, but you head west and it actually has a fork. You can take the hiking trail and you can take the mountain bike trail. Mm -hmm. So these are one of those hidden secrets, I think, that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, and of course, the parking lot that we're to our left here is off of Hood Mesa Trail, and that gives you access into uh, the other parts of the mountain bike trail system mm -hmm. as well. But this is such a beautiful view. This is an incredible view. In fact, one of the things I love about mornings here is when you're riding the Anasazi Trail, you can see a nice view of the La Platas, and you come and you ride the, cha the trail counterclockwise. So if you've never been out here, the trail does go counterclockwise, but you get an incredible view of the bluffs of Farmington. Sure. I mean, it is just stunning. It's when it's the moment that you go, wow, this is the high desert. Like, right. it's amazing. You got that great elevation mm -hmm. up here mm -hmm. uh, that allows you to see so much. And this trail system, uh, Shauna, also connects into what we're doing over at Lake Farmington, mm -hmm. which Absolutely. is really important. This has been a long-term vision for how we're trying to build this network uh, for outdoor recreation. And we have an OHV trail and a mountain bike trail. Mm -hmm that connects in from the Glade Run area directly into Lake Farmington. We do. Uh, the city of Farmington completed its construction on our part of that trail system, I believe last, was it last year or the year before? It was the year before. It was um, in 2018. No, you know what? It was last year. Actually, was I had a memory year? pop on Facebook uh, that word. it was almost a year ago now that we were working on the trail up there. Time flies, but it is nice. <laughs> um, and, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Lake Farmington because there are some assets here, recreation assets in the city that are still closed uh, because of COVID-19, mm -hmm. but the lake is open mm -hmm. and council passed an ordinance that allows it to be open for swimming anywhere on the lake. Tell and that is exciting. That. So um, <laughs> for those of you who have grown up in Farmington, many of us have been swimming in Farmington, but <laughs> not necessarily in the best legal way possible, but you and you and council did, you, um, you considered that. And I think it was a great idea. We have long said, you know, since Corey was here and, and even other directors, you know, back to Bob Hudson and Jeff Bowman, all of those guys had a vision too. And, and since Corey was here and we opened it up, we knew that Lake Farmington was going to be an evolution. We knew that it just wasn't going to stop with the beach because it can be uh, a major regional attraction, but it is such a nice amenity for the people who live here. Uh, so we did. 
we can swim anywhere in Lake Farmington. You can enjoy it. You don't necessarily just have to swim at the beach. Now, as you mentioned, because we're in the, the COVID times, uh, the beach is open in terms of geographically. Right. That's one of the best parts of the lake. So you can go, you can sit on that beach area, but we're not guarding it right now. We're not allowed to guard it uh, as, a, as a recreational swim area. So And the playground equipment, the, the aquatic playground equipment is not out. That's correct. We can't put that out yet, but I tell you, Mayor, it is ready to go. We have lifeguards on call, ready to go. As soon as we get the okay, uh, we still want to take advantage of the beautiful skies and, and the warmth this year and, and get it out there. But you're right, it's not there. You still do have a great swimming area, uh, a nice way to enter the lake right there where you know that it's, you know, there are no in sticks that will impale you or sure. fishing lines, things like that. But you can swim anywhere. Um, it is busy. Guys, if you want to get out there, you need to get out there early and get a spot. Uh, you can fish, you can use non-motorized boats out there. Um, like the mayor said, the trails are connecting. So if you have a mountain bike and you want to start at Kinsey's and go all the way through to the other side of the Glade area, uh, you can do that. It's incredible. It is an incredible trail. And I just want to pause right here and sure. give Doug McKim and the rest of them a shout out because they're great partners. We, we love working with them. And I know our Doug, Abe, uh, has a great working relationship. So. Shout out to Doug McKim and the BLM because they're really starting to do some great things out there to continue those efforts. So. Sure, and there was actually a bill passed in the Senate uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, this week that actually provides for some more permanent funding for recreation uh, for the Bureau of Land Management to use to help communities like ours that are so impacted by the public land component and our need to utilize this space to attract tourists and to continue this high quality of life that we enjoy here uh, so we're excited to see something like that come to fruition as well. Mm -hmm. Now Lake Farmington, uh, the beach is open. We've got the shade, the big shade uh, structures have been put up. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. We have the campground up top that overlooks it. That's mm -hmm. open as well. Yes, it is. And I believe that um, Community Works is going to be putting in some, uh, road, some road base. Yes, they uh, are. To improve that road throughout that area. So that's going to be a nice addition. And there's some possibility that we may be uh, relocating um, our entryway access fee shack and our boat inspection. Right now, what we're trying to do, we realize that the lines can get long down the hill. Um, we're, we're trying to get people off that hill from waiting. We realize that there may always be a line. It's a popular amenity, um, but we may be relocating that. So if we can work that out, in addition to putting some mealings down out there, look for that change. I think it'll be exciting. It'll make the traffic flow a little easier. Also, the access fee changed this year. So here to four, it's been $5 a car. It's now $1 a person. Uh, and I think it'll benefit a lot of people. There are people that just wanted to go bird watching out there. Some of our seniors wanted to go fishing off the pier. Uh, this makes it easy, $1 a person. I mean, it also helps sets us up for the expansion in the future when we start having different amenities. You know, we, we still have the vision of the aerial adventures. Uh, we still have yes. the visions of the big aqua park out there. And when we get those, you can always pay the dollar access fee to get in, bike, hike, picnic, bird watch, swim anywhere you want. But then when we do get those other attractions out there, there'll be different fees associated with those. So sure. access fees, $1 per person. Um, the community has been great at adapting to that and we haven't had a problem, but passes are still $50 uh, a year for an annual pass. Uh, you can get those at Lake Farmington. Usually you get them at the Aquatic Center also or, or Bistai, but since those facilities aren't open, Right now at the shack at the lake is where you buy those, so. Good to know, that's good information. How much is it to camp? $10 a day. $10 a day. $10 okay. a day. Mm -hmm. So Farmington Lake's been a focus for the council as we recognize the need to kind of grow these outdoor recreation assets and improve them, but also the river trails. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had a plan in place that we've, we've actually funded, uh, at least for temporary <laughs> purposes, we provided the, uh, the guidance to fund the additional trails, the trails that would be needed to connect Mm -hmm. from among the waters all the way up to basically where the Pinion Hills bridge extension would go. Yep. Uh, is that work continuing right now? Yes, we are. So if you're familiar with where among the waters is, uh, that trail is, we divide it in three sections for us for building. Uh, the first section of that trail has been what we call grubbed and cleared. So we, we cleared all the vegetation. Uh, it's been bladed. We had a great partnership with Community Works. So David Seifer, Chad Fuller, his crew, they were incredible out there. Um, so it's been grubbed and cleared. It's been bladed. Um, the second half we're working on right now, it's being surveyed. Um, 
And then the third third, which is Mr. Kenny Kendricks and his property, that has been surveyed. It has been grubbed and cleared. We are trenching and installing lights there, uh, and then it will be bladed. And so we are ready to connect right up to where Murray comes. That's great. Yeah, I mean, we are just that portion of it. And then later on this fall, we will do some restoration and bank stabilization on what we call the North Trail Extension. Uh, the first phase of that trail goes from Browning Parkway to Middle Fork Square. But the restoration and bank stabilization portion of that is right behind Sirius Texas Barbecue and Red Lobster. Uh, when we had that drought uh, a couple years ago and then we had the, the flooding, we had sure. a lot of erosion there. So we're going to go back, restore that bank, stabilize it, and build the trail out from there. So we are still continuing that endeavor. That's good. That system is going to be important, I think. Just again, these are visions that I think we've had as a community for a long, long time. And it's great to see them finally come to fruition uh, and, and going to have some of these done in the next couple of years mm -hmm. for all of us to enjoy. Uh, the last thing, Sean, I want to make sure we mention is as, as we continue to develop these areas um, and make them more attractive to more people, the importance of us taking care of them ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a number of times where I'll be out on a trail um, and, and just making sure that we're picking up our trash. Mm -hmm. You know, if we pack it in, we need to pack it out. Um, and, if, and if you take the time and you're out and you see trash, take the time to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the Lake, Lake Farmington is a great example. The wind blows out there constantly. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, and we have trash cans that are out there, but of course wind can hit that trash and, and we're picking it up daily. We, we're in, we, increased our, we increased our trash runs out there. You know, we know guys, you are a great community. You do a great job of calling us. Uh, I know a lot of outdoor enthusiasts here already either carry trash bags, uh, but people, people are letting us know that, that we do um, trash is a challenge for us sometimes because people are recreating and they are enjoying, but we do in, in here in Farmington, we are, we are incredibly blessed with outdoors. So we do need to, um, pack it in, pack it out. It's, it's very important because other people see that. Um, and it's a disappointment to them. Sure. So we've tried a lot of things. We've tried some lids. Sometimes they blow off or, or they get taken off and sometimes get used for recreational purposes, which yeah, hey, let's not get there's a that. child in all of us, but sure. yeah, we want to, we want to do that. We want to keep it clean. Anasazi, I know, is a very important trail. A lot of walkers will help pick up trash that kind of blows into this area. You know, Kinsey's out there. Uh, we have a great bike group here. We have a great uh, cliffhangers. The cliffhangers are a lot of times doing um, cleanups in the glade. Uh, so there are a lot of people around here, but really, individually, we do. It's a daily thing. It absolutely is. It's an individual is. thing. And if you take pride in the community that you live in, and you take pride in cleaning up after yourself, and sometimes you have to clean up after other people. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that, that I've just become accustomed to doing. I think what will be interesting too is that even if you're at the lake or if you're at the trail system, if you have the ability to take that trash home with you, as opposed to take utilizing the public trash can, yes. that would help keep it from blowing around as well. So, mm -hmm. um, And Mayor, your outdoor pledge is coming soon. Yes, we're gonna have the outdoor pledge publicized and it talks about taking care of those, those components, but respecting the land because it's not just about us living here with it today, it's about keep, keeping it nice and making it better for the people who come behind us. Mm -hmm. So, And it's what people think of when they visit our town. That's right. It's our Absolutely. best foot forward. Sean, anything else uh, you wanna add to this outdoor recreation no. celebration? Of course, we love, we love the month of June. We are Parks and Recreation and Cultural Affairs and um, Outdoor Rec is just a part of us and it's a lot of what we do. So I'm glad to be here with you and talking about our futures. Well, and as things come about, as we see changes here in the public health order, uh, your, your Facebook page, the Parks and Recreation Facebook page, as well as the City of Farmington's website, it's going to be a great location mm -hmm. to get updates on facilities that will be reopening mm -hmm. um, and the capacities that we'll be able to operate them in. Obviously, we want to see Bistai Bay open. We yes. have two brand new slides there that I know people are anxious to use. <laughs> um, I, I'm anxious to use them, so if I don't get stuck. They're fast. Yes. They're very fast. <laughs> but thank you for joining us and thank you for doing your part to keep our outdoor recreation areas clean and beautiful. And let's keep that up and spread that mentality around this community. Stay positive, Farmington. We appreciate all that you're doing. We'll see you next time here on the Mayor's Table.